Hi, so in a previous tech tip, we reviewed the three viewing angles for checking color. In this tech tip, we're going to use the Exalta speed light and actually locate and show you how to find those three angles. If you recall, the three angles were the near spec, the face, or sometimes referred to as the head on, or the flop, sometimes referred to as side tone. When talking to people in the field, we sometimes find a little misconception about where these angles are on the car. And when asked, you know, where is the uh, face or the head on, oftentimes people will say, well, that's just looking at the side of the car. When I look at the side of the car, that's where I see the face or the head on. Well, my point is that that may not be the case. For instance, if the sun, we we're outside, if the sun was low in the horizon, we might actually see the near spec on the side of the car. So what we're gonna do is we'll show you some demonstrations that'll show you how to find each of the angles on various parts in the car. One important point when you're trying to find these three angles is to think about it that you have, there's really three elements to this, three variables. There's the car, there's the light, and then there's our eyes. And these three components are working together to identify what the color looks like. So it's important to note that you want to really try to manipulate only one of these variables at a time. So for instance, one of the things that I see people do very often is you'll see people in the field looking at a chip or a color and they're doing this. And I often wonder, what are you looking for? Did you lose something? I know what they're looking for. They're looking for their favorite angle, that angle that they like to review color at. I'm encouraging you to look at all three angles. So we'll look at this a little bit different and see how we can manipulate only one of those variables to locate the three. So for this example, I'm going to demonstrate how we can manipulate one of those variables, in this case, the eyes, to find the three angles. From this perspective, you're looking at the near spec. When you move across this way, you are looking at the face or the head on. And then from this perspective behind the light, you are looking at the flop or the side tone. In this instance, we're going to manipulate another of the variables. In this case, we're going to actually move the light and not our eyes. So you're going to stay stationary. From this angle, you're looking at the near spec. If I move the light to here, you're looking at the face. From over here, you're looking at the flop or the side tone. So I've only moved one of the variables. So I will show you here that finding those three angles that we just demonstrated on the side of the car, is just as easy to find those on, a, on the top of the car, maybe for a deck lid or a hood repair, maybe the top of the fender. So in that case, we're still doing the same thing where I can find the near spec, the face or the head on, and the flop or the side tone but moving only one variable. So if I was to demonstrate this way, I see the near spec, the face, or the flop. So in each of those, I only moved one of the variables. One of the things you always wanna be cautious of though, is surrounding light. Surrounding light is bringing light in from all these different angles. So really it's hard or maybe more difficult for me to find some of these angles with all this light going on. So it's sometimes a good idea, especially if you're in the booth, maybe to turn the lights off before you check the color. Or if you're out on the shop floor, maybe find a little darker area to check your color to avoid surrounding light. So as you can see, by dimming the booth lights, it becomes a lot easier to find these angles. So I'm avoiding the influence of surrounding light by checking my angles after dimming the booth lights or finding a darker area. In the so shop. a couple of last tips. One, with the Exalta speed light, we can check also our flake orientation. We can see that it was sprayed correctly. We can check our blends. We can even check for coverage, which maybe before the clear goes on, usually a good time to do that. So to recap, using the Exalta speed light, we can check color, right? We want to manipulate only one of those variables when checking color to find those three angles. Uh, we can use the speed light for even more than just color. And we also want to be careful about light from around us influencing what we see.